Hi there, this is Emily from SolarPowerMyRV.com. This Airstream just recently spent 90 days in the Alaskan wilderness with no generator, no hookups, and three kids. So most solar equipped rigs wouldn't have made it for that full stay. Uh, the heat would be gone by day one, by day two goes the fridge, by day three, because there's no food and there's no heat, you may decide to pack up, but then your jacks don't work because you don't have power. So in this video, I am going to walk you through how to avoid systems like that so that you can actually keep your family safe. And I'll show you also the nuances of our approach for each of the components so that you know exactly what you would need for a more extended stay. On the roof, this Airstream has 800 watts of solar panels that are secure fastened as well as 600 watts of portable panels that allow the batteries to recharge in the low Alaskan light. We also did the DC to DC charger which is a product that allows the truck alternator to charge the batteries as well so that you can arrive at your destination with a hundred percent batteries topped off. Um, a lot of solar designers will not include a DC to DC charger in their designs when in fact it allows you to have an emergency backup should you ever have, especially in this case, low light that would make charging your batteries difficult. This Airstream had a front bed configuration, so that is where we put the components of the batteries and the inverter. Um, the batteries and the inverter actually have to be within four cable feet of each other, so they fit perfectly in this front bay. Now we used three 300 amp hour Epoch lithium batteries. So this Airstream has about 900 amp hours total. Um, just for reference, that's the equivalent of about 20 lead acid batteries, uh, which would have been about a thousand pounds. So it's nice that uh, we were able to get a lot of power with a small footprint. The way that we approach wiring is with a one switch design that makes it really easy for these systems to be serviced either by a technician or a customer in the field. So all of the wires are properly labeled, uh, making it really easy if you ever needed to access any of the fuses um, or to make any in-field changes. This Alaskan trip also needed the Victron 3000 watt inverter. This inverter is going to power all of the outlets, all of the appliances, including the AC. So our approach includes uh, high temperature sensors and cooling systems when we stress test the inverter to make sure that it can handle all of the loads. So after designing 600 solar systems, um, about 27% of those which were Airstreams, uh, we've seen a lot of technicians cut corners by doing you know two dollar fuses or the wrong wiring and so just like with this system where you see that he has roof solar ground solar and then that dc to dc charger coming from the truck it's really important that all of the wiring and the integrations are done in a way that uh, allows all of the systems to work and orchestrate together and that requires having the right temperature sensors and the right programming so that your system can work well out in the field and you don't have to worry about um, any fire hazards because there are you know, real stories and a real risk with fire when you're dealing with these systems. One thing that a lot of people don't consider is that solar requires a lot of software and data. So with that servo, uh, we're able to actually use this Touch 70 to read what the system is doing so we know everything that's coming in with the solar on the roof, uh, as well as the solar from the ground panels. Uh, so we're able to read all of that data as well as see what the battery capacity is, how many hours it has of discharging, how many hours it takes to recharge, um, and we're able to read all of that data that's synced to our customer phone so we can do all of that reading remotely as well. One thing we discovered early on uh, with these cheap breakers and fuses and no name stuff, yeah, it might be cheap at first, but uh, what the problem is they use cheaper metals to make these fuses, switchers, and all that. And even batteries and inverters, they use cheaper metals to make them cheaper. But what happens is they have less quality, so they get hot. And when they get really hot, they start melting. And then before you know it, you got, you know, fuses melting, switches melting, inverters melting. I mean, it's it really becomes a fire hazard. And this is just not something that you want to sleep with at night. Uh, 
I mean, if it was a, maybe a cabin that you didn't live in or something, that's one thing. But if you're sleeping in this thing at night and you're running power through it, I would highly not recommend using cheaping out on uh, some of this stuff. So one of the things we like most about these Victron systems is not only that they're super reliable, but it gives us it's uh, all inclusive. So it it tells you can see all the information on your system on this screen, and you can also connect it to Wi-Fi and monitor all of this information remotely. And this is great for us as a technician because we get people that you just have operator error that you know they don't know what to, you know might would be going on with their system, so they can call us and we can look on the Wi-Fi and we can see exactly you know, all the statistics of their solar, their alternator, their inverter, what's going in, what's going out. We can see your history. So in the event there's any kind of issue, you don't have to come back to our shop. You know, you could be a thousand miles away on the other side of the world and we can see exactly what's going on and diagnose probably about 90% of the things that a uh, customer's calling about just from looking at this. So this is called the Touch 70 touchscreen and the brains of it is called the Servo GX. So you basically, you get both of them. But the only way for this system to work is you have to have the whole Victron set up with the inverter, the solar controller, the battery monitor, and you have to have all Victron components. It's not gonna be compatible with any other uh, components. But once you get it set up, it is really amazing. So for instance, right now we're running the air conditioner. That's taking about 1400 watts. You can see we got about 220 watts of DC lows, which is like some lights in here and uh, a few other things. And you can see how much solar we have. We got, you know, 900, almost a thousand watts of solar coming in. And it also tell you the time remaining. So if you look at the uh, battery, it tells you how much time you have remaining left at this rate. So you have an idea of how long you can run this appliance, you know, until your batteries are dead. So we're gonna do a quick demo here. So we got the air conditioner on cool, and then we got uh, our solar roof, our solar ground panels, and we got our alternator on right now. So uh, if you look here, you can see it's discharging. So even with the, um, we got an air conditioner plus a few lights on, and then so we, whatever's coming in minus what's going out is gonna either be discharging or charging, and you can see it says discharging and gives you a time remaining. So. It kind of gives you a, and you can see where your power is flowing here with the little dots you can follow. You know, it's all going to the battery through the inverter and into your AC loads. Now, DC loads are connected directly to the battery and don't go through the inverter, like some lights and jacks and stuff. So if you look here, we got the input and the output from the alternator charger. So you can see what is happening on the truck side and you can see what's happening on the trailer side. So now you know what it actually takes to go 90 days generator free in your trailer. We've battle tested this approach in over 600 RV solar installations and about 250 of those were specifically Airstreams. So we're not affiliated with any brands, um, so we only install what's actually proven over the last few years to be durable in the field and actually um, easy to troubleshoot for any of our campers. We also never mark up prices, but on your custom proposal, I do list out exactly what we would order for you so that with that brand, we would be the technician on record so that if we ever needed to call in any warranty issues, we would take care of all of that process for you. So if you want frequent or full-time camping in your RV with five-year tech support and no glitchy cost cutting, then please request a solar proposal on our website and I'll be sure to talk you through options for your specific lifestyle needs. Also, be sure to like and subscribe as we will do more RV solar tours in the future. Thanks so much for watching.